everybody, my name is Kavita Su. I am the assistant front office manager in Taylor's International Hotel. Alright, um, our subject for today is actually our organization behavior management. So let's get started. Thanks. Okay, the first topic that everyone in uh, front office, that you, everyone did slightly wrong and they don't understand what is the difference between uh, these three things, which is alert and trace, add on and share, and uh, located and wake up call. So let me explain to you all what is the thing that you guys everything make wrong. Okay, next. So, um, from the first, what is the difference between alert and traces? Okay, let me explain. Alert and traces. Alert means um, set up an alert message to all departments and merge to reservation for display during check-in. Okay, for example, alert means. Okay, for example, I gave, I will give you a complimentary late checkout. This particular guest. Okay, this guest one uh, complimentary late checkout. So you, everyone must alert. So we, which is all department need to know which is uh, alert to which department. Okay. Uh, for example, I show you the slide will be more. The next slide will be more understanding. So let me explain what is alert. Okay, in this Opera system that we use in front office, okay, this is once you make the reservation. Okay, I'm giving my example, which is my reservation. This is example, yeah. Okay, from this example, once you have done, you click option. Once the option, you press alert, double click. Okay, once press alert, and this thing will pop up. Okay, for example, then you have to write down this area checkout code is under company. The guest is under company. And then description. It is as what I mentioned just now. The guests one day. The, sorry, the guests need a complimentary checkout. So we just write down here complimentary late checkout, and I press OK. And then this thing will come up. That means you are done. So so just press close. That is for alert. It's very simple. And the next will be traces. Okay, traces next. Traces means by. Each department, an example, this customers they want complimentary late checkout. So only particular department that you need to know, you need to tell to that department that which I mean they are checking out late. So it doesn't mean uh, concierge need to know. I don't think so. Concierge need to know, right? So only which is example housekeeping and front office. I think not say. These two department is quite important. So you don't want to tell to the whole department. If alert, you need to say all. Oh, traces only certain selected department. Okay, so let me show you how it works. So once you press option again, you go back to traces, double click it, and then this is the department code. This is the first step you need to do. Press department code, arrow down, and then, as I said just now, you just need that particular department right so you just press F O press the X here F O and housekeeping so once you press it press OK and then this thing will come out and then what this is when you just press you just press two department right just now and then these two department will come out and then you go to trace text what you need to wrote and you need to inform the the guests what they want right so you re, you retype again complimentary late checkout and then you press OK and then, is this correct? Two front office, and then two housekeeping. And then, that's it. Okay, now I'm going to explain about the uh, second method, which is the difference between add-on and chess. What does it mean by add-on? Add-on means, okay, example, there's a, there's a, you're staying for two person, and then you want to have uh, add-on room, which is the person need another room. So instead of having uh, open a new reservation and everything, you just add on, okay? And uh, let me show the slides, it's much more easier. Next, please. Okay, what does it mean by add on from the Opera system? Okay, once you go to the option button and then you press add on, and then this thing will come out. As I mentioned just now, the deluxe king. Okay, so example that the customer want a deluxe king group. So you just press so, I mean, arrow down, press the last key, then you press OK, and then, yeah, you show it here, the last key, and you just press OK. Okay, the following one, we're going to talk about shares. 
So, okay, as I mentioned just now, one person pay and then one person pay but two person are staying. So once you press combine, and then, no sorry, once you press entire, okay, and then the person will be paying 600 fully. That means this person is not paying, I'm paying full. So as I said, my name here, I'm the one who paid. Okay, next following on split. Split means by I'm staying for two percent, and then the price is cost six hundred ringgit. So two hours, two hours are staying, and then each person are paying three hundred each, right? So let me show you. As I said just now, three hundred each because two hours staying, because two hours and two hours are paying as well. So it's quite simple, lah. Like three hundred and three hundred each. So and. That's it. Okay, following on, um, I'm going to show you the opera, how does it work, the function. So, for the first one will be wake up call. Okay, and um, how does it work? Once you really check in to the guest, the guest, I mean, you really check in and everything, the guest went into the room and everything. So, the next day, they want to have a wake up call. So, you go to front desk department and then you press this wake up call. And then once you press this, this thing appears, which is the wake up call as LSC appears. So you just type the room number and then the name. And then you just press enter and then this thing will come out again. So this thing come out and then you just type the room number. For example, 609 is the room number. And then um, the day, which is the next day of the guest that want to go. I mean to wake up, sorry. So the next day, date, and then the time between 7 o'clock in the morning. So um, the follow up call means by um, if, like, say, 7 o'clock, we get a uh, first call. Okay, the guests pick up the call and everything. For in case for emergency, you, you never know. Sometimes the guests just fall asleep back. So um, you can have another follow up call time. So another 15 minutes. And then the front office department can give a call again to wake up the second one, which is I put it in 7.15. So this is the wake up call. And then uh, following on, once you really send, okay, this is because before the next day, we the, the guest will let us know, right? When is the day that she want he or she want to make a wake up call. So we put it as pending. Okay, that means pending means that we haven't reached the next day and we haven't make a call. So if let's say it's if let's say it's completed the next day and then the guests wake up and go for their meeting or what, and then you can just click here, arrow down and then just click complete. The word complete. So the complete uh, means by you have successfully wake up the guests and everything. So it's gonna be Okay, uh, the following one will be the locator. Okay, uh, how does it function as usual again, as I said every time. Uh, you go to the option button, double click locator. And then, um, okay, once you press, lo press locator, this thing will pop up. And then uh, you just begin the date, which is um, today's date. Sorry, tomorrow's date. And then from time what time to what time and then the day example that as i mentioned just now uh, one of the guests that have a meeting which is uh, where and when and the location are so th this is how we fill it fill it fill up okay the date and, and of course it's only one day the meeting gonna be and uh, the date will be the same day and then the time that he left from the hotel which is nine o'clock in the morning and then what time he gonna be back so which is, I put it at uh, 18, 18 hour, which is at 6 o'clock in the evening. So uh, location text, which is you can just type. Uh, um, Miss Kavita will be having a meeting at KLCC Convention Center for an example. Where is she going to be? So and that's it. Thank you.